Hi there. This is the first in a five-part series on IDT's new full-featured PCIe clock family. Uh, the first part of the series will be a family overview. There will also be a, a part on the clock generators, another section covering the clock buffers, um, a fourth section that will deal with the clock multiplexers, and finally a fifth section covering some of the applications for the full-featured PCIe clocks. So let's jump right into the family overview. So PCI Express is evolving. There are two major things happening in PCI Express these days. One is the PCIe Gen 4 specification is moving toward the 0 0.9 drafts stage. And Gen 4 is going to bring uh, 16 gigabit per second data transfers uh, to uh, the architecture or to the uh, PCI Express world. And then there's also going to be two new architectures which are uh, supported in uh, a non-specific way. The, the two architectures are the separate reference no spread or SRNS and the separate reference independent spread or SRIS clock architectures. These are going to be supported in the PCI Express Gen 4 specification, but they will not be, there will no, be no explicit specifications on the reference clocks. So what the phrase is, is that um, SRNS and SRIS clocking will be implementation dependent. And what that means is that uh, there's not going to be an explicit reference clock jitter specification. Um, and that means that IDT uh, we'll need to work with the SOC vendors to ensure interoperability. And regardless of whether there's an explicit specification or not, um, IDT delivers solutions for these um, architectures and increasing performance requirements, and we have always done so. So in terms of the IDT's PCIe clock families, there are three major families. The focus of this series of presentations is on the full-featured PCIe which you see on the left of your screen. Um, we've just introduced the new L series parts to production, which are the 3.3 volt devices that have the uh, best performance, uh, PCI Gen 1 through 4, and also SRNS and SRIS support. And those follow the uh, very successful uh, 1.8 volt V series and the 1.5 volt U series parts, which have been in the market for a couple of years, um, supporting uh, Gen 1 through 3. Um, the other specs and the Gen 4 common clock um, spec are being evaluated against these parts to see if they will be able to do Gen 4 or not. And so that, those other specs are TBD. The other family that we have is the Phi clock family, which is Phi clock plus PCIe in this case, where we add some less than 300 femtosecond uh, RMS um, high performance CERTES clocks or PHI clocks and then also provide some PCI Express Gen 1 through 4 clocks. Then the last family is when you really need to go smaller and you don't need all the features, you want a simpler board layout and you have very tight space constraints, is the micro PCIe family which will be the subject of another presentation. And uh, we're defining smaller uh, as in micro PCIe as any device that has that is in a 3 by 3 millimeter or smaller package. So the common features of IDT's full-featured PCIe family are as follows. You have an output enable pin for every PCIe clock. You have spread spectrum clocking capability and compatibility across every part in the family. On the clock generators, there is a reference output which can save you an XO in your system. And then to make it really simple to use the parts, you have on the clock generators, you have pin control of three different spread amounts, including spread off. And you also have on the zero delay buffers, pin control of the PLL bandwidth, whether you want it to be high bandwidth, low bandwidth, or the PLL bypassed, uh, that is all done from a single pin. The other common feature is multiple uh, pin selectable SM bus addresses. So the clock generators have a choice of two 
SM bus addresses. The buffers have a choice of three SM bus addresses and those five addresses do not overlap. So you can have up to five of these devices on a single SM bus segment. The other common feature is that we use low power and some people refer to this as push-pull, but we use low-power HCSL outputs on all of the parts, and they are offered with a choice of 100-ohm uh, integrated terminations or 85-ohm integrated terminations. And all the parts in the full-featured family are between 2.5 millimeters by 2.5 millimeters up to 6 millimeters by 6 millimeters. They all offer iTemp operation, and the most power consuming part consumes 211 milliwatts. So uh, they're very power efficient. So the 3.3 volt full featured PCIe clock family, which is the newest one, provides the basic functions you need for clocking, provides a, a clock generator function provides both zero delay and fan out buffers and provides a clock muxing function and the muxes are two inputs with different numbers of outputs in the 3.3 volt family it's a two input and four output mux so the family has performance the 3.3 volt family is PCIe gen 1 2 3 4 common clocked compliant uh, also supports the SRNS and SRIS architectures uh, you've got flexibility in the family where you can right size your the part for your design because we provide from two to nine outputs. Um, again, the 3.3 volt family does allow factory OTP customization if you have a particular setting that you would like to adjust, um, whether it's slew rate, output impedance, polarity of control signals, or even on the clock generators, maybe you prefer to run from a 20 megahertz or a 24 megahertz uh, reference clock instead of 25 that can easily be OTP'd into the parts. We also have uh, easy AC coupling to other logic standards such as LVPECL, LVDS, and CML. There's SM bus programmability for the signal integrity and functionality and again that can be OTP customized for your particular needs. And then we have 1.5 and 1.8 volt versions of the parts available for the more power conscious um, applications that might be out there. As far as 3.3 volt size and power, uh, this family ranges from a 4 by 4 millimeter at the smallest end to a 6 by 6 millimeter QFN um, in the largest part. Um, these save up to 53% board area compared to IDT's legacy uh, 3.3 volt uh, current mode devices such as a 9db803 for instance. The integrated terminations allow you to save up to 36 resistors and that 36 resistors represents um, 62 square millimeters of board area. So really great for space constrained designs. And then power wise the low power HCSL outputs um, allow up to an 80 percent power savings with the 3.3 volt parts. If you can use 1.5 or 1.8 in your design, you can save even uh, more power. The parts are easy to use because, as shown um, earlier, the basic functions are controlled by hardware pins, so you do not need to use the SM bus for most applications. And we do have the individual OE pin on each PCIe output. So the 3.3 volt full featured PCIe clocks. Uh, support Gen 1, 2, 3, 4, Common Clock, SRIS, and SRNS. It is a family of parts with the clock generator, fan out buffers, zero delay buffers, and clock multiplexers, and it supports both 100 ohm environments and 85 ohm environments without any external components. The numbering scheme is really easy. All parts start with a 9. And if you're using a, if you're looking for a generator, it's a 9FG. The FG stands for frequency generator, actually. If you're looking for a buffer, it's 9DB for differential buffer. And if you're looking for a MUX, it's a 9DM for differential MUX. And then the operating voltage is the uh, fourth character in the part number. L is 
is for 3.3 volts, which stands for low power. The V indicates 1.8 volts or very low power. And then the U indicates 1.5 volts or ultra low power. The next two digits then provide the number of PCIe clock output pairs. So ranging from one um, all the way up to nine currently. So that's the number of outputs. And then finally, uh, the, the next to last digit indicates the output impedance. So a 33 ohm output impedance uh, would have uh, a three as the next to last digit. And then the device variant would be like 31, 32, 33, 34, et cetera. 100 ohm output impedance has the next to last digit as a four. And you would have 41, 42, 43, 44, et cetera. And then finally, the 85 ohm um, output impedance starts with a five. And that would be like 51, 52, 53, et cetera. That's it for the PCI Express family overview. Thank you for watching.